Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm doing a quick little vlog. I just got a guitar in and I wanted to share the unboxing with you. It was sent in by a customer of mine named Steve, who you guys saw Steve's guitar on here already. I unboxed it maybe a month and a half ago. It's a silver neck through King V and it's gonna be featured in season six of Trash to Thrash. I got a whole thing planned out because he traded in a few guitars to have me fix up his King V. Well, he just bought this guitar at auction and let me open it up while I'm talking. He found it at a Goodwill auction, which I've never bought a guitar from there before, but he messaged me and said, I just won this guitar. It's the second time it was up for auction and I want it to go to a good home. Would you want it? I'll send it to you for absolutely free. It has nothing to do with the guitar uh, that you're doing for me and it's you don't have to pay me anything. I just want it to go somewhere to a place where it's gonna be taken care of and rebuilt. So let's check this out. I haven't checked it out yet. I just picked it up. So cool. Steve uh, paid for it and then messaged me and asked me if I wanted it. And I said, absolutely. He sent me some pictures of it. Told me there's some uh, damage to the headstock. But it is a Jackson. So here it is. It's actually packed pretty well. A bunch of bubble wrap around it. And let's get this thing cut up. This makes me wonder, who brings a guitar to Goodwill? An electric guitar, a Jackson. What a random thing to end up there. Maybe uh, maybe they cleared out a storage locker. I don't know, but you'd have to think that this thing would be worth something. Why would you drop this off the Goodwill? Well, maybe we'll find out in a second. Let's get this thing all completely opened up. I'm in between shooting clear coats right now, so I only got a couple minutes and I gotta run back outside but that'll help me keep this thing brief because I tend to uh, talk too much, as you guys have probably noticed. Ooh, first thing I see, which I really like, made in Japan. Got the trim bars in here. Oh, a nice snapped headstock I see. But I, like I mentioned a minute ago, kind of knew that that was gonna be like that. So this is like a dark blue, is it metallic? It is a metallic. It's got the low pro Jackson bridge. Let me bring you guys in. Yeah, it's like a dark bluish purple. Metallic-y. I wonder if this is, what model? It's a Kelly Standard. This Japanese made Jackson's a little bit different than any of the other ones I've ever seen. It appears to be from the early 90s or even the late 80s. It appears to be a Jackson Pro Series Kelly Standard. There are two interesting features I've never seen on another Jackson that this one has. The first is it doesn't have a neck plate. The neck is mounted directly to the body with recessed screw holes in the back of the body. The other thing was the serial number is on a sticker on the back of the headstock and it starts with a J number. After a little research, apparently this is something that Jackson did in the early 90s on some Jackson Kellys. Very cool, 24 frets, We've got the dot inlays, dual humbuckers, so it looks like the body's in like, I mean, you know, it's got its little dings here or there. Got a little scratch here, not a chip. I mean, not a uh, crack. So it looks like it's, for sure, it's in pretty good condition. Gonna need to replace the neck because that ain't gonna work. Unless we like cut it right here and put two tuners on the other side, but even then we would still have all these strings coming across. It would be pretty messy. So gonna have to replace this. Kind of sucks. I have an extra, a couple extra Jackson necks here. I don't think any of them would work with this though. I don't think I have any 24 fret ones, but very awesome. Steve, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate this. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet because I do have a lot of guitars here to work on before I get to this one, but it'll be for sure hanging out here till I get time to start it and find a, a proper neck for it. If I can, I'll try to replace it with some type of shark fin inlaid neck or something like that because while the dots are pretty cool, if I'm gonna change the neck, I might as well go all out. Part of me also wants to make this a giveaway guitar for the Patreon members, so, like I said, I don't know when, exactly when I'm gonna start it because I'm gonna have to track down a neck first, but man, awesome guitar. Steve, thanks so much, I really appreciate that. If you guys ever wanna send anything into me, donate something to the channel, I love it. Feel free to send me an email if you got like an old guitar you don't want anymore, or. Uh, you find one super cheap and you feel like buying it and donating it to the channel because that is just so cool. Same with video game stuff. I collect old vintage video, retro video game stuff too, so 
Anything you guys want to send in as a donation, man. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. And if not, that's totally cool, too. I uh, totally understand. Sick, dude. Steve. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. And yes, that is my alarm going off. I got to get out there and spray some more clear coats. So let's get out there. Hope you guys are enjoying Trash to Thrash so far, Season 4. Tell me in the comments, what would you do to this Kelly? How would you like to see me refinish it? The purple that's on it is already pretty cool. It's like a bluish purple. Maybe I go I go somewhere in that direction. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you would want done to it if it was yours or something you'd like to see me do to it. I'll let the ideas roll around for a while and then maybe I'll grab a couple of them and combine them or if your idea is really cool, we'll go with it. Let me know and thanks so much for watching, guys. Rock on, my friends.